Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. This is day 149 of my coding journey. So I know you guys see the title of the video. I will be taking a break soon. My wife, she's currently pregnant with our third child and the baby's due July 16th. But with our first children, first two children, um, they came three to four weeks early. And my wife, she feels like she's about to pop soon. So she thinks that she's gonna give birth maybe the beginning of June or the middle of June. So yeah, whenever the baby come, I did plan on taking, you know, maybe like a two, three week break from everything. It's long overdue. I've been doing this straight for half, half a year, basically. And just learning something new every day, getting on here, documenting my journey, which I really recommend for anybody that's wanting to become a developer. Or even if you're already a developer, like document your journey and just see how far you came. Uh, just looking back at my first video, I've learned so much. I think that video has... 520 views or something like that and i'm gonna be honest probably a hundred of them views are me i'd always look back and be like wow i came a long way um just from that first video and learned so much uh from that first video so i really recommend you know documenting your journey even if you write it down you don't have to get on here and create youtube videos every day it's just tough i'm not gonna lie uh <laughs> but um yeah, so I'm going to be taking a two, three week break soon. Not now. I'm talking like this is about to happen tomorrow, probably like here in the next month, month and a half, um, maybe sooner. Uh, like I said, she says she's ready to pop soon. So uh, it will be a break. So if you guys see me not posting for a few weeks, that's why. But I definitely will return and uh, start documenting my journey every single day. So wherever I leave off, I'm just going to start off from that day. So if I leave off at day 176 i'll come back two three weeks later and just start off at day 177 so not that big of a deal and uh yeah last night i worked on the full stack e-commerce site a little bit um i made the it took me this took me like three hours to do i'm not gonna lie three to four hours but i got the cart functionality working so right now we're with our little test product and I'm gonna style this better. I just wanted wanted to get the function functionality working. But um, yeah. So you can up up um. Oh shit! <laughs> I got rid of it. So let me add it to the cart. So we add it to the cart. So now you see the number pops up, and you can increase it. The quantity goes up. The price goes up. The total price, and you can delete it. And once you delete it, it disappears. And here's the cool part. So you can add it to the cart and you can close out. I'm going to close out of that. And let's go back to it. Blow in and it's still there. And um, so, yeah, it's, it saves everything for you. So, like, you don't have to, like, keep coming back and adding the products to your cart. But um, what I really want to work on today is actually, I think, like, if I sign out. So let me go ahead and sign out. I don't think I tested this out yet. Let's sign out right quick. I want to sign in with a different user and see if my cart is okay. The cart's gone. I forgot I gotta switch that. So let's sign in with Google. I'm gonna sign into this one. Let's see if okay. So the cart's still there. So what I want to do is probably try to get the cart to just be that user's cart you get what i'm saying because if i want to do the whole wish list thing i don't want i don't want me to sign into a different account and then the wish list would be the same so i'm gonna try to work on that today and see if i can figure that out see look the car's still there but uh yeah so today i'm just gonna work on this a little bit more maybe watch some more coding videos and yeah um I'll see you guys tomorrow. The break ain't starting now. So just you've still gonna be pushing out videos. And I actually have something that I want to start doing. So in between, you know, my day to day coding journey videos, I want to start um, maybe like once a week or once every few weeks starting start dropping like tutorial style videos. So right now I'm working on a CRUD application uh a to-do list with firebase and stuff like that i'm actually working on that on the side um so once i finish that i might come on here and record me rebuilding it and you know you guys can follow along if you want 
uh, follow along at your own risk by the way i'm still learning so <laughs> um or you guys can watch as well so i do want to do that and drop those in between you know my day-to-day -day coding journey videos so yeah that's it for me today i will see you guys tomorrow peace